I like us to talk this hour on the topic which I titled Faithfulness and Unfaithfulness in Marriage. These days, we discover that it is very, very easy for people in, in relationships, people in marriage, to just behave anyhow. And that's the word unfaithfulness. And um, I discovered that uh, people are just doing whatever they like. Someone you said you love, you trusted from the beginning, and somehow the trust is now breached. A husband misbehaving, the wife is no longer able to trust, and the wife misbehaving, a husband no longer to, no longer able to trust. Now, what is your take? What did you think? What are the causes? What, are, what did you think is making people to be unfaithful these days? Because trust me, so many things are going very are going wrong. So many things, so many things. There is no longer value, no respect, no trust, nothing. And you claim to be in love. You claim to. My question is, what has happened? And what is causing this thing? What is your take? What do you think that can make somebody, okay, someone that is faithful? What is, uh, what is helping? How is that person doing it? And the person that is not faithful, what are the things that may be causing these things? If I will get any response from anyone, it says the grace of God. And determination, strong determination for you as a person to be faithful in whatever you are doing. Whether someone is seeing you or somebody is not seeing you, if you are not determined, if you yourself you don't have moral value, you will never be faithful in whatever you are doing. And if you are not faithful in small, trust me, you will never be faithful in big. You, when somebody and trust something in your hand and you are not able to keep it safe. No matter how small, it's the same thing. If you are not faithful with material things, with spiritual things, with any other things we can think of, you will not be faithful when it comes to marriage. If you are not faithful when you are cutting, you are able to double date, definitely, man or woman, you will be able you will not be faithful when you are married. And this will take me to the things that is going around in the world today. Where people are saying, where people are blaming one party for, where you blame someone for another person's mistake. We are all adults. Nobody is a child. We all know what is good. Especially for the, when a man misbehaves, when a man cheats or go outside marriage and misbehave, and the society targets is the woman, the wife. The wife is not doing well. The wife is not uh, neat. The wife is not sexy. The wife is not this. The wife is not that. Cut it. There are so many things that the wife are even coping and trying to manage with. If we should follow, that is because. One part, one partner is not doing well, then the other partner have reason, or is justified to go out. Then, both man and woman will have reason and reasons to misbehave. So, like someone said, it takes the self discipline. If you don't discipline yourself, if you don't tell, tell yourself, okay, will you say because somebody is pushing you to go and do what will kill you, then you go and do it. Will somebody push push you to put your hand in fire? No, it shouldn't be. It takes it takes your 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 yourself to do what is right. We are not we are not children. Nobody should push you. Faithfulness is when every as in you are stick. You are open. You don't use, you don't take blue for red. Your word, when your word is yes, you let it be yes. It could be loyalty. 
Are you loyal to your partner? And the ability to be trusted is what we call, is what I will, what I would define this thing, the faithfulness as. Is your spouse able to trust you? If you say you are going to, to route A, if someone should go to that route A, will you be found in route A? Or you have taken from route A, you have gone to route, route D? It's, 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 it's a serious matter. And if you are, like, like I said, if you are not faithful in small, you cannot be faithful in If you say you are going to, you're just going, I just want to pick something there. And on your way, something changed. You should be able to communicate it. Something has changed. So faithful, faithfulness is, so, is a serious, is a, it's, it's a short word, but it's a serious matter. How faithful are you? And when you want somebody to be faithful to you, then want somebody to be faithful to you. How faithful are you in everything you do? But we are going to limit it to the, the relationships, husband and wife, people that are, are into relationship that want to get married, relationship with with children, relationship with friends and family, with people around you. How faithful are you? How faithful are you? Can anyone trust you? Can you trust yourself? And that, let me not forget the one I was saying that people should stop blaming other people for, for somebody's inability to control him or herself. If you want to say it's because the, the wife is not doing well, the wife is not doing the wife, if a woman should sit down and tell you what and what the man is not doing right, then every other person will have gone astray. I want to read from you. I want to hear from you. What did you think? What is your take? What do you have to say about faithfulness and unfaithfulness in marriage? If you are faithful, what is making you? How, is, how are you helping yourself? What can you say? To somebody that is not faithful, what advice do you have for somebody that is not faithful? There are things that can lead to faithfulness. Stick, stick to it. Let me let you let your spouse know you that yes, your A is A and your B is B. It pains my heart, it pains my hair when you, you see a man misbehaving and a wife will be blamed for it. If every woman wants to, not that women, women cannot do those things, that the people, the so-called, that you are, you are being unfaithful with. But if we want to go in this line, what will happen to the children? What will happen to every other thing that we take care of, even you as a man or you as a woman, what will happen to you? Enough of blaming. Don't blame another person for your mistake. Who needs? Take responsibility. We should all take responsibility for our actions. A man misbehaves. She says it's because the wife is not responding. It's because the wife is not cooking well. It's because the wife is not knocking well. It's because the wife is not dressing well. What about a man that can that cannot get the wife to orgasm? Has the wife gone out out to look for orgasm? What are, what about the man that is lazy, that he cannot even provide for his family? What about the man that is dirty, that cannot even dress well? And you, a woman, if you are saying because your husband is not behaving well that you are doing pian pian pian, if that man should list the one or two things that you are doing, can you cope? If those people out there are doing drugs, before they can do all those nasty things they are doing, if your wife should do drugs, <laughs> you won't be able to survive it.
faithfulness is the decision to wholeheartedly fulfill, to fulfill one's duty and obligation in one's spouse. It is a trust and loyalty to one's spouse. Yes. Can we be trusted? Can your spouse trust you? Someone is saying, what if a partner is faithful, never cheat or do any bad stuff, but the other partner naturally has insecurity issue? He or she never, ever trusts the partner, regardless. Just do your part. You know yourself. You know that whatever you are doing is right. One day, you will be convinced. One day, she will be convinced. And you don't say because he or she doesn't trust you, doesn't believe in you, then you now go and misbehave. It's you about, it's about you and your God. If he doesn't believe you, it's his own. It's her own. One day, the eyes will be open and he will see. The eyes will be open. So like I was saying again, I come back to it. Men that will say their wife cannot give them 360, can, the wife cannot give them this, the wife cannot give them that. If your wife wants to fulfill, if you want your wife to follow you to party and do drugs and do all the all the art, all the art, art, art things, what will happen to the children? Who will take care of the home? Let's go back. Let's 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 work on ourselves. Let's, let's try and put things in order and nobody can help you except you yourself. No matter what it will cost you, try and be faithful. Yes, someone said being faithful is not something that happened by chance, but by choice. I love this. Choose, choose to be faithful. Be deliberate about it. Be deliberate about it. There's something I would like to read out. Which says, It is not about neglect or sex or whatever we may want to console the world with. It is about the loss of moral value. We celebrate poverty and laziness. Society that promotes evil things. This noise is much. Choose to be faithful. Make a choice to be faithful and be deliberate about it. Yes, I want to read from you. I want to hear what you have to say. I love this one. Faithfulness does not happen by chance, but by choice. It's not everything we want as women that we get. It's not everything men want, some that they get. But they still have the choice. They still make the choice to remain faithful. Tell, talk to yourself. If you need help, talk to God. All the evil things that of faithfulness is is causing around the world that people celebrate and blame one person for for another person's offense. Like I said before. If a woman should take to take biro and paper to note the things that she's just trying to cope with, then the world will not contain the two of us. 
Make your mind today. Make up your mind. I mean, choose to be faithful. And know that it doesn't take us, take anybody anywhere. Choose to be faithful. Any other thing you know that may make you not to be faithful, do away with them. You are not a spirit. You know the things you can stand and you know the things you cannot stand. Things that you cannot stand, avoid them. Selfishness is at the root of unfaithfulness. There are, there's really no logical excuses for, excuse for faithfulness. Yes, none. No matter how you paint it, no matter the language you speak, no matter what you have to say, you don't have any excuse. any excuse. In order to help each other, to help your spouse and help yourself, do the good things you know how to do and don't be discouraged. Don't be discouraged. Now, to The ones that have been faithful and still remain faithful. Keep it up. It pays. It pays. It pays. Then to continue to help each other to remain faithful. There are things that we can do to help our spouse to be faithful. When you, when, when, when those things that we used to do, as we are coming up before we get married, when we no longer do them, it can, but it shouldn't be. Why you cannot control how the other person behaves? You can always control how. You want to respond to your spouse misbehavior. Yes, people giving good, good points. Control your behavior. Control your mind. Control your heart. Control your heart. To help your, yourself and help your, your, your spouse. Invite God to your life. Marriage is sweet. Marriage is beautiful. But it's a matter of choice. Commit and invest in understanding your spouse. Very good. All your points have been noted. Don't just neglect your spouse. Mm. 